Welcome to Meg Unique Stitches YouTube channel. All right, guys. So this is the pattern that we are going to be using to draft the basic sleeve, both the long sleeve and the short sleeve. So on this pattern, I'm going to be showing to us how to draft a long sleeve and a short sleeve. So whether it is the long sleeve you want to draft, you get the knowledge here, or whether it's a short sleeve you want to draft, you will get the knowledge here. So we want to draft a basic sleeve, both the long and the short, using this same pattern, okay? Using this same pattern. So the first thing you want to do is to put on fold, okay? You want to put your pattern on fold like this. Now, how do you know what to put on fold? Remember, on this pattern, I am not going to be adding allowances. I am not going to be adding allowances on this pattern. Okay? So, what do you put on fold? It is your armhole divided by two. Your armhole circumference divided by two or your shoulder circumference divided by two. As long as you have that, then that should be enough. Okay, you can choose to add half an inch or one inch just to be on the safe side, but your arm hole divided by two. So, in this case, our arm hole is our shoulder rather. For this particular class, I'm going to be using my shoulder divided by two to determine the amount of pattern to put on fold so my shoulder the shoulder we are working with here is 15 inches divided by 2 is 7.5 and if i measure this is the midpoint the uncut parts okay if i measure what i have here i will you will notice i have more than 7.5 here i have about 10 inches so it means this particular um this is enough for what we want to do okay so we use our shoulder divided by two. So the other measurements that we need are the length of the sleeve. In this case, we are going to be needing both the long sleeve length and the short sleeve length. The length of the sleeve, the, the round, the wrist area, the wrist area, the round wrist area. And also we're going to be needing where the short sleeve will stop. You also need to measure round that part. Okay, so you need to measure around that part too. We also need our cap height. Our cap height, we need, of course, the cap height is usually that's about that. Then you also need, of course, you need that. You need your 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 shoulder your shoulder to your elbow for the long sleeve. You need the long sleeve will pass through the elbow down to the wrist of your of your arm. So you need the shoulder to the elbow you also need round that elbow you also need to measure around your elbow now in measuring around your elbow you want to make sure that it is not tight so that you can fold your hands easily okay you can fold your hands easily so you want to take a loose measurement around the elbow except you're using a stretchy fabric of course you can make it fitted because the fabric has enough stretch already, okay? So you need the round, the round elbow, you need the round wrist, okay? And if you're measuring the length of your, of your long sleeve, you need to tilt your elbow a bit and take your, your and, and place your tape rule on the tip of your shoulder across the elbow so that whenever you, uh, whenever you put on that particular dress that has the long sleeve, when you when you fold your hands, the, 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 the sleeve will not be, become shorter. It will not jump up, okay? So you need to measure around your elbow. All right, so all of these measurements are what we need to cut out the long sleeve and the short sleeve. And if you want to also get the cap height, we have a formula to actually determine the cap height, which is, for the ladies, it is, Boss, your boss circumference divided by 12 plus half an inch. Your boss circumference 
divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 that will give you the cap height but averagely the cap height is usually between 3 to 5 3.3 to 5 inches averagely the cap height is usually between 3.5 to 5 inches okay and not something the okay i'm going to show that to us when we start drafting so just note at the back of your mind of course i expect that you should have a notepad where you are jotting down these things is important even i as your tutor i have a note okay so the 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 the, the cap height i said you can derive it by dividing your bust circumference for the lady bust divided by 12 plus half an inch but averagely it is usually between 3.5 to 5 inches or even 3 inches to 5 inches for the cap height okay So for this particular project, we're going to be using 3.5 as the cap height, okay? 3.5 as the cap height for this particular project, all right? So I haven't mentioned all the measurements required. Let's just get started, okay? So the first thing you want to do is to fold your, your pattern, okay? And this is it. We have put our pattern on fold. The difference between this and freehand is that on if you're drafting directly on your fabric, you want to add allowance all your necessary allowances, okay? Which I'll be explaining to us even on this pattern. So once you have put your pattern on fold like so, into two, into two equal halves, from this beginning point, you can rule a starting line, or you can if you have a straight line already. You can just make that your starting point. So from this starting point, I'm going to be marking the length of my long sleeve. We are going to be doing the long sleeve first, then manipulate the long sleeve for the short sleeve. Because the difference between the short sleeve and the long sleeve is just in the length. Okay? The upper part, the cap, the cap height remains the same for both the long sleeve or the short sleeve. The cap height remains the same. The difference between a long sleeve and the short sleeve is usually in the length. Okay? So I'm going to take my long sleeve measurements, the length of my long sleeve, and in this case, it is 20, 23. The length of the long sleeve we want to make right now is... 20 23 okay so just place your tape rule from the beginning point here and you want to mark at 23 so i'll just mark at 23 and okay twenty three, twenty three, and i'll make all the points I'll connect the points to get a straight line. Okay? That's the first thing you want to do. So I'm going to connect all these points together into a straight line. Please follow me. This particular class will be detailed. So I would encourage you to watch to the end. You will learn something definitely, even if you're a beginner or not. So I have marked out the length of my the length of this um of this of this sleeve so here is my length okay so once you have marked the length of your of the long sleeve you want to also mark out the elbow the show the, the the start the shoulder to the elbow you remember a long sleeve will pass through the elbow so in this case our elbow is 13 so from this beginning point, I would mark at 13 inches. And I also make the points into a straight line. Okay? So across my pattern, I will just mark at 13 inches. That is the length of my elbow. So I'll make this point into a straight line. So this is my elbow where I'm going to be marking the elbow circumference. Okay? all right so here's what we've got so once you have done this the next thing you want to mark out is the cap height 
okay the cap height and we said the cap height is we said the cap height is 3.5 so from this starting point here you want to mark three you want to make a mark at 3.5 okay i would like to use a different color of pen to mark the cap height just to differentiate it because i said the cap height for the short sleeve and the long sleeve is the same so our cap height is 3.5 i'll just make some points at that 3.5 and connect together into a straight line okay 3.5 3.5 and i'll make those marks those points i'll connect together to form a straight line so you can see i used a red pen for the cap height just for emphasis so here is our cap height here is the cap height okay all right so here is the cap height here is the elbow and here is the length of the long sleeve now the next thing you want to do is from this point here make sure that i want to reconfirm this my cap height okay one two three three point five okay so from this um from this point here from this point here or better still remember that this pattern this pattern is more than the what we need what we actually need is um 7.5 which is half of our shoulder 7.5 so I think I would like to um, make the 7.5 mark so that it, you won't get confused. Remember I said on this pattern, we are not going to be adding any allowance. So I'll just be create. I can cut it out, but I don't want to cut it out yet because I want to show us how to add our allowance by the time we get to that stage. Okay, so I'm just marking out my exact the exact width I need. Okay. Please don't get confused. I'm, I'm going to go over this again. So, you know, we said that to know what to put on fold, you can do your arm hole divided by two or your shoulder divided by two. So my shoulder, the one we are working with for this project is 7.5 is 15 divided by two is 7.5. So from this uncut part, from this uncut part to this mark I made here is 7.5. Okay, so in your mind, in your mind, discard these parts. These other parts we are going to cut out. So discard it. It's just excess. Okay, so I haven't done that. Remember from here to here is our cap height. So here is, here is our new line, not this end part. So we want to make a diagonal line. From this mid, from this uncut part, I'm going to make, sorry, from this point here, from this point here, I'm going to make it in diagonal line from here, touching the tip of this uncut part, okay? From this part here, I'm going to be making a diagonal line from here, touching this uncut part here, okay? A diagonal line, a slant line. So just do that. You want to do that also. Yes. So once you have done this, once you have made this diagonal line, you want. So once you have drawn the diagonal line like this, you want to divide the diagonal line into two into two halves okay you want to divide it into two halves so just place your tape rule at this point here and at this point okay assuming the same shape then you want to fold your tape rule into two okay into two like so you want to press the tape rule down at this point and make the mark okay just make a mark at that point so here is the half of the diagonal line. 
okay now on this point here on this point we are going to step up by half an inch okay so just place your tape at that point and you want to step up by half an inch okay so i have stepped up by half an inch as you can see so we are also going to be dividing this half from here to here i will divide into two from here to here i would also divide into two equal parts so the same thing place your taper at this point stopping at this point here bend over and make a mark there okay you press your taper down then make a mark at that point there so here is the point so you come here also automatically this would be the half here so you make a mark here too okay so now we have three points this is the first point here the second point and the third point okay now remember that this is the cut part why here is the uncut part okay so on the uncut part on the half this is the half this is the half towards the uncut part this is the half towards the cut part. Now, on the half towards the uncut part, we are to step up. Step up by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is less than half an inch. So step up on that 0 0.5. Step up by 0 0.5. Okay? So here is my 0 0.5 towards the uncut parts okay now towards the cut parts towards this open part on this half i will step down by the same 0 0.5 so you want to step down please pay attention to all those things i'm saying you want to step down by 0 0.5 okay so here we have it here now we can connect our back arm hole shape we can connect our back arm hole shape remember that the back arm hole and the front arm hole are not the same on the basic bodies the the front arm hole is deeper than the back arm hole that's why we're going to be having a different shape for both the front and the back arm hole except when you drafted your own bodies you made the back and the front to be the same then you don't need to go through all these processes you just draw the arm hole shape that you just draw the normal s shape for the arm hole from this point here just draw the s shape towards this point and that will be your arm hole for the back and the front but this one is standard okay so let's continue so you want to pick up your curve okay because want to create the back arm hole pick up your curve like so and you want to place your curve okay i want to use a different marker for the back so we can differentiate so you want to place your curve on this point here on this point touching this half an inch then going towards this point from here to this point i'm going to use a curve then from here to here i'm going to use a straight ruler Okay, so let's just get to it. So just pick up your curve like so, and you want to match it up. You want to match it up. Okay, so just take your time. Make sure it is not shaking like mine just did. Okay, so I've made the first curve. You can see i've made the first curve now i'm going to continue with the straight parts okay so i'll connect it to this point with the straight parts make sure that there are no sharp edges there are no sharp points rather okay so make sure you blend all the sharp points so here now is our back, our back um, arm hole shape, okay? You can see, here is the back arm hole shape. 
now we want to create the front and i'm going to be using a different marker for that also so to create the front you pick up your curve you want to connect from this point because you can start from whichever point you want to So to connect the front arm hole, you just pick up your curve like so. You want to connect from this tip here, okay, coming, touching this 0 0.25 here, okay, from here like so, then touching this down point, you stop here first, then we'll turn our curve to the other side and connect from here, touching this 0 0.25, then touching this point, okay? Make sure that all the points I already alighted, touch each other. So you want to take your time, okay? So I'm connecting the first part. Okay, so here we have this like this, okay? So you, all you need to do is just to bend your curve to the other side. You know, our curve was like this. The curve was placed like this, okay? Just to, to mark this other part, just bend your curve like so. And you want to mark, connect this point to this point and to this point, okay? So that's the front arm hole. If you cannot get the three points at the same time, you can get one first, then you get the other, okay? As much as you can. But make sure that all three points are marked. Okay, so I'm going to connect the two points first, then, then move my rule a bit, okay, in all, do not have a sharp edge, okay. So here is the, the front arm hole. I hope we can see it. Okay, I'm going to bring it closer. So here is the front arm hole. Make sure that it is well marked. Okay. So here is our front arm hole. You can see I tried to use a different color. Let me bring it closer. Okay, yes, so this red mark here is the back arm hole. Why this other color here that goes like that comes down like this and form like an S shape is the front arm hole. Okay, so make sure that when you are cutting the back, this sharp point here, you try to blend it in. So, this is how to create the arm hole for both a short sleeve or even a long sleeve. So having done that, let's finish up with our long sleeve. Then we can also derive the short sleeve from this same pattern. Okay, so we are going to be getting our elbow circumference. Okay, our elbow circumference is 12. Our round circumference is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So from this uh, uncut part, you want to mark 6 inches. Okay, you want to mark six inches. Six inches. So I've made my six inches mark for the elbow, 12 divided by two. Now the wrist, the round wrist is, our round wrist is nine inches. Nine divided by two is 4.5. So on the wrist points, you want to mark 4.5. We are still working on the long sleeves, please. 4.5. So we're not adding allowance, 4.5. So I'm going to be connecting these points together. Please pay attention. I will connect this 4.5, 4.5 to the 6.5, then to this point. So that gives us the long sleeve, that we have been working on, okay? Our air ball is 13 by two is 6.5, okay? So I need to correct this. 
6.5. So here is my 6.5 mark. 6.5 mark, not this one. Okay? So and here is the 9 divided by 2. That's 4.5. Okay? So we'll connect the points together now using my straight ruler. Okay? So you want to connect from this point to this point first. Okay, so we have connected that point. Now from this point here to this point, we are going to connect together also. So when drafting, please, you want to pay attention to your measurements, okay? If you need to cross-check, of course, the rule is cross-check twice before cutting. So I noticed again that my elbow circumference is actually 6, not actually 12, not 13. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, not 6.5. So we're going to be maintaining this our formal line. Okay, so it means that I'm going to be reshaping this. So discard, I hope this is not confusing not at all. So just discard this line. So I'm going to be reshaping this line. Maybe I should just use a different marker so that we don't get confused. Okay, so you want to cross check your, I would have just pre acted as though it is 13, but to make you know that no one is above mistake and you need to cross check twice before you cut. That's why I actually had to even call our attention to it. So you connect this point together, the wrist to the elbow, then the elbow to the armhole area here. Okay. So I'm just going to be connecting these other points together like so. If you want, you can use a curved, a curve along this part. You can use a curve, just um, a little, you should have a little curve, the pants, okay? So here, our long sleeve is ready. You can see how beautiful it is looking. Our long sleeve is ready. So the next thing I'm trying is to manipulate this long sleeve into a short sleeve. Remember I said that the difference is only in the length, okay? The shaping remains the same. So I'm going to be doing that in another video so that this particular one don't get too long, okay? So if you like to know how to get the short sleeve from this same pattern, then you should watch out for the next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educative content on how to cut and how to sew. So I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.